So to defend your brother behind his back is one thing, but to mention him to Allah behind his back is another thing. And you find yourself in these moments where you're coming across, you know, a message about what's happened with this person, what's happened with that person, or something causes you to remember your brother or sister. One of the best things that you could do is to tune yourself to immediately praying for someone as soon as you see something with them. So, you know, that's one of the ways that we ward off envy is that you see something that someone has and you immediately say, Allahumma barik laha, Allahumma barik lahu, oh Allah bless them with that thing, right? You accustom yourself to making dua, to supplicating for them as soon as you see something. One of the beautiful things about dua for your brother or sister is what the Prophet ﷺ said, that when a person makes dua for their brother or sister behind their back, so this is not something that you go and you tell someone constantly, hey, I was making dua for you, I was praying for you. Now you can do that as a means of showing solidarity, but not as a means of men, which is a means of boasting or claiming some sort of favor over someone else. Like I made dua for you last night so that you can make that person feel like they're indebted to you. The same way with sadaqah, with charity. You might let someone know you're giving them charity as a means of solidarity, but not as a means of giving yourself an upper hand over them to where they feel like they owe you and you could chip away at their self-esteem by mentioning your favor upon them. So this is making dua bi al ghaib in complete absence. A person is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they mention their brother or sister. The Prophet sallallahu said, no one does that except that Allah sends an angel. So this is a specific angel, muwakkal, that is entrusted. And that dua is mustajaba. So the Prophet sallallahu said in one narration, it's an accepted dua. And the angel will say each time, ameen wa laka bi mithrihi. Ameen and for you as well. So the dua will be accepted for you and for your brother and sister, because the angel is the one that's making the dua. And subhanAllah, you've got to ask yourself, who do I feel more confident in having dua accepted from? Myself or an angel that Allah sent to specifically say, Ameen for duas. And this fosters a sense of selflessness also. Just like I don't feel a need to respond on behalf of myself, but I feel a need to respond on behalf of my brother and sister. In this case, I do make dua for myself, but I can engage myself in a prolonged fashion of making dua for my brother or sister without them knowing about it, knowing that an angel will say, Ameen, and for you as well. So how, what's the best thing to do with this practice? Number one, make it a habit, something that you do every single time you come across someone randomly, you see someone, just say, may Allah bless them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase them. If you see something good that they have, may Allah make it easy for them. If you see that they're going through hardship, may Allah purify them. Immediately accustom yourself to being able to respond to the mention of a person's name with a dua from the heart. That's the first thing. Number two, you know, we find Imam Ahmad rahimahullah actually had a list of people that he would make dua for at night. And he actually said one time that I actually feel more confident in the dua being accepted for someone else than when I make dua for myself. What's the point of even engaging in the prolonged duas for myself all the time if I can make it for my brother and sister and it would be accepted for them and for me. And the third thing is that a person diversifies the nature of the supplications that they're making based upon the needs of the people. So for example, one person has an issue with their health, make dua for their health. One person has an issue with their sustenance, make dua for their sustenance. One person has an issue with their family, make dua for their family, and so on and so forth. There, there, thereby, you're covering all of the different facets of dua for a whole bunch of people, and at the same time, covering all of the facets of your life because you would make dua for sincerity for yourself, for health for yourself, for your own family, for your own wealth, and so on and so forth. So you cover all of those people with that dua, and the angel says, Ameen, and for you as well. And that goes on your record also and increases your sincerity and increases your station with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know that Allah would not just send an angel to say, Ameen, and for you as well, but Allah will also put blessed people in your life if you're that type of person who does so for others.